Welcome to the vibrant world of Calamity Jane, the 1953 movie that has left an indelible mark on cinema history. Have you ever found yourself reminiscing about a cherished memory associated with this classic film? Or perhaps you vividly recall the first time you were captivated by its western charm. Calamity Jane takes us on a journey to the untamed landscapes of the Wild West, introducing us to the unapologetically bold and adventurous Calamity Jane, portrayed by the legendary Doris Day. As we delve into the world of saloons, stagecoaches, and spirited characters, the film's enduring appeal becomes apparent. But before we unravel the intricacies of this cinematic gem, we want to hear from you. What is your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Calamity Jane? Share your stories and nostalgia in the comments below. We'd love to hear the moments that made this movie special for you. Now, let's saddle up and explore some random facts about Calamity Jane. Did you know that the film was a musical comedy, adding a toe-tapping rhythm to the rugged landscapes? The on-screen chemistry between Doris Day and co-star Howard Keel brought an extra layer of dynamism, contributing to the film's timeless allure. As we journey through the dusty trails of this Western classic, let's uncover more intriguing details about its production, reception, and lasting impact on popular culture. So, grab your cowboy hat, kick back, and join us on this ride through the iconic Calamity Jane. And now, we turn the spotlight back to you. What's your story with Calamity Jane? Share your cherished memories, and let's celebrate the magic of this cinematic masterpiece together. Drop your comments below, and let the nostalgia flow. Calamity Jane, released in 1953, and directed by David Butler, is a classic Western musical film that brings to life the legendary frontierswoman Martha Jane Canary, commonly known as Calamity Jane. Set in the rough and tumble town of Deadwood, the story follows the titular character as she navigates the challenges of the Wild West, showcasing her bold personality, sharpshooting skills, and unexpected journey into the realm of love. Doris Day delivers a standout performance in the lead role, capturing the essence of Calamity Jane's larger-than-life persona. The film's lively musical numbers, including the iconic secret love, add a vibrant dimension to the narrative, blending humor, romance, and adventure. Calamity Jane stands out for its engaging storytelling, memorable characters, and the unique integration of musical elements into the Western genre. Over the years, the film has become a cultural touchstone, influencing subsequent portrayals of strong female characters in Westerns, and leaving an indelible mark on popular culture. Its enduring legacy is a testament to the film's timeless charm and the lasting impact of its spirited depiction of a frontier heroine. Doris Day, in one of her standout roles, led the cast of Calamity Jane, a 1953 Western musical directed by David Butler. Beyond its on-screen charm, the film holds a behind-the-scenes tidbit. The set of Deadwood City's Golden Garter Saloon doubled as the 14th Street Music Hall in the 3D hit House of Wax released the same year. This crossover highlights the versatility of the film's production design. Notably, Doris Day considered Calamity Jane among her personal favorites out of the 39 films she made during her two-decade film career. Her appreciation for the project adds a personal touch to the movie's legacy, emphasizing its significance in her prolific filmography. Adding a musical note to the narrative, the iconic song Secret Love from Calamity Jane resonated beyond the 1953 release. Decades later, Mandy Moore covered the song for the film Mona Lisa Smile, showcasing the enduring popularity of the film's musical elements. These details offer a glimpse into the multifaceted impact of Calamity Jane, from its onset repurposing to its lasting influence on the lead actress and the timeless appeal of its musical contributions. The film's ability to leave a mark both on and off-screen solidifies its status as a noteworthy piece of cinematic history. Included among the American Film Institute's 2002 list of 400 movies nominated for the Top 100 America's Greatest Love Stories, the 1953 movie Calamity Jane solidified its place in cinematic history. This recognition highlights the film's enduring impact on the portrayal of love in the realm of westerns. Calamity Jane, directed by David Butler and featuring Doris Day in a standout role, transcended the conventions of its genre by weaving a compelling love story into the rugged backdrop of the Wild West. The film's distinction on the AFI list is not only a testament to its timeless charm, 
but also underscores its significance in shaping the landscape of American cinema. Calamity Jane, with its lively musical numbers, and Doris Day's memorable performance, carved a niche for itself among the plethora of films in the Western genre. The inclusion in the list serves as a recognition of the movie's ability to resonate with audiences across generations, showcasing the enduring power of its narrative and characters. Moreover, the AFI acknowledgement positions Calamity Jane as a pivotal work in the broader context of American love stories, emphasizing its unique contribution to the cinematic tapestry. The recognition from the AFI adds a layer of prestige to the film's legacy, solidifying its status as a classic that goes beyond the confines of its initial release year. In conclusion, Calamity Jane's inclusion in the American Film Institute's list of America's greatest love stories is a testament to its lasting impact on the cinematic landscape. The film's ability to blend the ruggedness of the Wild West with a captivating love story has earned it a well-deserved place among the most cherished works in American cinema. Doris Day's rendition of Secret Love in the 1953 film Calamity Jane is etched in cinematic history. Surprisingly, she recorded the song in just one take, showcasing her remarkable musical prowess. This iconic track not only became synonymous with the movie, but also endured beyond its release. In fact, Mandy Moore covered Secret Love decades later for the film Mona Lisa Smile, demonstrating the enduring popularity of Calamity Jane's musical legacy. Moreover, the film's soundtrack had a notable Columbia Records album featuring selections from the Sammy Fain Paul Francis Webster score. This album included both soundtrack recordings and commercially re-recorded tunes by Doris Day alone, reflecting the multifaceted musical dimension of Calamity Jane. The enduring appeal of the film's music is evident in various re-releases, including a complete recreation of the film's score for the 1979 British stage production. Beyond the music, an interesting tidbit surfaces at the Fort Scully dance scene in the movie. An uncredited Brad Johnson, the first officer to comment on Calamity Jane's transformation, would later star in a TV series as the love interest of another famous frontiers woman, Annie Oakley. These behind-the-scenes insights into the recording process, musical adaptations, and unexpected connections with other frontier stories contribute to the rich tapestry of Calamity Jane's legacy. It's a testament to the film's enduring impact that reaches beyond the confines of its initial release, solidifying its place in cinematic history. As the curtains fall on our cinematic journey through the Wild West with Calamity Jane, I invite you to saddle up your thoughts and ride into the sunset of reflection. Whether you found solace in the rhythmic hooves of the horses, the echoes of secret love, or the dusty trails of Deadwood, this 1953 gem holds a unique place in the heart of every viewer. Now, take a moment to unravel the lasso of your memories and let them dance like tumbleweeds in the vast landscape of your mind. Was it the spirited charisma of Doris Day that roped you in, or the lively tunes that made your heart gallop? Perhaps you found a kindred spirit in Calamity Jane's rough and tumble resilience, or maybe the camaraderie of the saloon scenes left you yearning for a honky-tonk time of your own. This isn't just a film, it's a stage coach of emotions hurtling through the canyons of nostalgia. So, I implore you to share your most cherished moments or musings about Calamity Jane. Unleash your inner gunslinger of words, and let the comments section become a bustling town square of shared recollections. Thank you for riding shotgun on this journey with me. Your time and reflections are the golden nuggets in the riverbed of our shared appreciation for classic cinema. Until our paths cross again on the dusty trails of another cinematic adventure, stay dusty, stay daring, and keep the spirit of calamity alive in your heart.